Tyler and Sam here, and today we're up on Grand Mesa at 10,200 feet here to do some field testing with some new soft baits. Just got some new soft bait patterns in for the micro minnows from Pete'sCustomTroutworms.com. We'll have the link as always in the description, guys. Make sure you're using the code so you can get 10% off your order. Another thing that we're going to be testing today, you guys, is a lure called the Jacko Eye Prop. This is a spy bait technique type lure, and it's primarily used for bass fishing. But one of my subscribers in the south who's a big time bass fisher, I'll make sure to leave his channel in the description, also leave it up here above. He gave me this idea and he think, wants me to see if it works for trout. So I'm gonna be testing that out today too. This is one of the more popular lakes here at Grand Mesa. Hint at where we're at, it's one of the biggest, if not the biggest lake up here on the Mesa. There's six types of trout in this lake, guys. Snake River Cutthroat, uh, Native Colorado River Cutthroat, Splake Trout, Brown Trout, Rainbow Trout, um, and I believe there's cut bow trout in here too. So we're going to be going over these lures with you guys, going over these patterns. Stay tuned with us. Hopefully we can get some fish on them. First pattern I'm going to be going with is the two inch micro minnow tad pole here. When you get a pack of these guys, this always comes with a 1 ounce ball head mustad hook. Here's the pattern right here. Looks pretty nice. Looks pretty natural. Water's going to be ultra clear today, so I think something like this will be pretty good. So we'll see what happens. I spent about five, six, seven minutes kind of scouting this area out. It's really shallow, so we're going to walk out a little bit. Do I have one? Yeah, I got one. It's a brookie. This little brookie, guys. Got one. They're in that drop off. Decent sized bow. Whew, that water's freezing, guys. Rainbow. It's about 40 degrees out right now, but it's super sunny, so it's not that bad. I know you guys can't see it, but probably about 20 yards in front of me, it starts getting really dark. There's a drop off right there. I've seen some rises. So that's where some of these trout are. Good stuff, Pete. This is working out really well so far. Got one. Oh, shoot, he came off. Tyler almost had three, and I haven't even gotten mine in the water yet. Oh. Oh, shoot. I'm getting taps like crazy. Well, I'll definitely have to let Pete know that these tadpole pattern works. Yep, got one. It was a pretty poor hook set. I reacted pretty late. Yep. That's a splake. Oh, you feisty bugger. Yeah, that's a splake. Got the fork tail. See that guy's got the fork tail where brookies don't have that. That's three species already. Splake trout, brook trout, and rainbow. Pattern's crushing it. Well, it's safe to say that this pattern's working really well. Might try on another one here in a minute. Got one, guys. Looks like a splake. A nice, pretty little splake. Gonna let him go. Here he goes. Yep. Maybe another splake. Yep, another splake. Nice another little splate, guys. Awesome. <laughs> there we go. It's like a brookie. Awesome stuff. Beautiful fish. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna try on a different pattern now. We definitely know that this one's working. This is the jackal eye prop. As you can see, spy bait technique. It's got two props, front end and back end of it here. 
We're gonna see how this works out. I'm excited for it. I, I think it looks awesome. It looks super cool. Got this on six pound test. This thing's a lot heavier than it looks, so definitely don't want to throw this on four and have it snap off. These are not very cheap. So I'm gonna get out there and see what we can do with this. So I was just throwing this pattern of the eye prop. I forget what it's called. It's definitely some type of Japanese name for the pattern, but going with the purple now, kind of purple blue, the dot on here, kind of like a shed. The water is ultra clear and there's a lot of small trout it seems to be in the area. So not saying this can't catch trout right now, but it might just be a little bit too flagrant, but we'll see. Not gonna give up on it yet. That was about, oh, I'd say about 30 minutes, 40 minutes per each try. I didn't get anything going there, so I'm gonna switch back to a different pattern now. Sam wasn't getting anything going on the black, but I'm gonna try it out. Going with the black now, all black, jet black. Oh, had one, nipped it. Oh, all right guys, I'm getting action now with the black. I'm getting bites on the black, haven't been able to pull any in. Just had one bite again and bit the tail off. All right guys, so I also, <clears throat> we also got sent a big variety pack for the field test. Some earthworm colors, some other colors. I'm gonna try on this green here with the purple and green flake it looks like. There we go. All right, tiny splake guys. There it goes. The last little splake, guys, was with this green micro minnow here that we're testing. Purple flake with the green. It's getting little nips, and that was the first real commit that I had on it. I'm gonna be switching that now to a different color here. I'll show you that in just a second. So now, guys, very similar to the tadpole, just a different shade of green. All right, still got that kind of tannish pewter, but now we got more of a swampy dark green. It's called green pumpkin cheese. All right, here we go. Oof, that guy struck that hard. That's a good sign. Yep. All right, guys, well, that was really fast. Those two solid bites. I moved a little down right to where Tyler was. I'm using the green pumpkin cheese as well. Got it. Whoa. He's a jumper. Rainbow, looks like. Yep, rainbow. <laughs> Tiny little rainbow. Not too bad. We'll let you go. There he goes. <laughs> He's swimming towards my feet. Nice. All right, guys, I moved down over here. You can see kind of the yellow board and all our stuff over there. That's where I was standing off. There's Sam. Kind of got some better view here of the lake. Still using that green pumpkin with cheese. Ooh. It's a nice rainbow. <laughs> got one, guys. It's fighting hard. It's definitely not very big, but it's fighting super hard. Might be another little splake. These splake fight really, really hard. Yep, fork tail. God, these splake are awesome. Look at the top sides of them. Great looking fish. They're loving the green pumpkin with cheese though. That's for sure. I'm about to clean this reel. I'm done today. I didn't get the hook set, but little brook caught him just right at shore. Not even five feet in front of me. Little brook, I think. Might be a splake. There he goes. I caught that one off of the dragon fruit. I switched up my colors. A little bit more flagrant. 
we had pretty good luck with the brooks last time with this color up here in Grand Mesa, so it seems to still be doing it. whole time I thought I was recording I've caught two fish and my GoPro was off and I was talking to you guys and camera wasn't on but yeah I got another little splake and I got a nice size rainbow nothing crazy but all with that green pumpkin with cheese yep Fish fight so hard for their size. I want to catch a big splake one of these days. What the heck is this fish doing? I can see the whole 360 around me. Little rainbow. Yep, nice bow here. The last fish I just caught did a full spin around me. Went all around me. Oh, how does that happen? Well, the HD Brown's definitely getting some action. I throw in the HD Natural here too. Just having a lot of fun field testing and catching fish on a wide variety of stuff today. There we go. Oh, he got him off, shoot. Somehow, I have a hook. That's crazy, I must have gotten the hook out of his mouth at least. <laughs> That's nuts. We'll splake trout on the natural. Got one. Really pretty. Got it. This looks like a brookie. Brookie on the fire tiger, guys. No forked tail. See that? That's so you can tell the difference. Pretty guy. That one, guys. He just caught the last one with his last cast for the day. Always nice to end on that note. Crush the fire tiger. Nice little splake. Nice, babe. Yeah, a little splake action. Oh, careful. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice little splake action, guys. Nice. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. Awesome day. Hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us while we got the field test some new baits from our sponsors. As you saw, the natural patterns were working the best. Uh, the green pumpkin with the cheese, the tadpole pattern. Sam was doing well with the dragon fruit. I also got one with the green and the black and purple flake. Got some bites with the other patterns as well too, but didn't get too many in. We also got some trout on the fire tiger patterns and some of the other established patterns already. Got some stuff on the HD trout crankbaits as well. But really fun day pulling in the brook trout, the splake, and the rainbow trout. Really fun multi-species on this lake. Probably not gonna be hitting too many more of these main lakes now that all this stuff is opening up. But again, really awesome day field testing the stuff from our sponsors. Thank you, Pete, Custom Trout Worms, for providing these awesome baits. Jono from Jono's Bass Fishing. I'm gonna be throwing the jackal eye prop more, I promise you. Today just wasn't the greatest day for it on the water, but I know it's gonna get me some fish here soon. Definitely. So if you guys like the video, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and if you're new, if you don't want to miss anything from us, hit that notification bell. That's right. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Team Cough signing out. Bye.